Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, loves. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. Everyone, I am the host. My name is Catherine. For all of those who are new, welcome to the channel. Please make sure to click like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do a monthly giveaway. Everything I give away is in the description box below. Please hashtag what you would like to win in the comments. I do that giveaway on the first. So coming up on tomorrow, I will be doing that giveaway. Also, I do a weekly giveaway on this channel where I give away a three question reading to three lucky subscribers. And that takes place every Monday right here on this channel. Make sure that you hashtag win or or hashtag free reading in order to have your name entered in the drawing and you can enter multiple times, okay? You can enter multiple times. Also, please check out my new channel on YouTube, Tarot Talk Live. Please go over there and check it out. I already have a playlist set up on that channel and there are many, um, there's, there's plenty of content. There's um, plenty of content for you to watch. Okay, very interesting readings that were also done as well. So I would go and give that a whirl. And there are a couple on there that's just commentary. So go and check it out. You can check out the first episode to see what that channel is going to be all about and um, read the details in the description in the description box. Okay. And I will be joining you on that channel going live, taking your questions for $11.11. Please make sure that you set your notifications on so you can be notified when I go live. Also, if you would like to book your reading or your question in advance, um, you can do that by going to the website. The link to go directly to book your one question reading is in the description box below right underneath the link to the website. All right, I am taking personal readings throughout the month of February for the uh, first two weeks. So February 1st through the 15th, I am accepting a um, promotion on the website where I am doing 50% off of everything on the website. Anything that you want to order will be 50% off. And that is going to be from February the 1st through the 15th. Also, all of my extendeds are going to be half price. So there will be a discount on my extendeds as well. Okay, they normally are $11.11. .11. I am going to be doing them for $5.55. Okay, the extendeds will be on sale for $5.55 starting on tomorrow. Okay, the promotional code is going to be hashtag love, hashtag love. All right, so that will be turned on tonight at midnight. So you guys will be able to go and place your orders or book your readings at that time. So if I would wait, not book your reading until after midnight, if you want to request a personal reading, because you won't be able to get it until tomorrow anyway. So you might as well wait and get it 50% off. Okay. All right, because I love you. All right. Um, also, what else did I forget to mention? I think that's it. Readings can be vice versa. Um, we are at, at the end of the fire signs, Leo. This is your reading. So Cancer is dealing with the Leo or Leo. This is your energy. We're going to look at Leo's energy first. Um, Cancer, if you're dealing with the Leo, we're going to look at your energy first. And then we will look at your person's energy. Leo will look at your person's energy and then we will look at Leo singles. Okay. Um, or cancer and Leo singles. Okay. This applies to all cancers because this is your channel. Um, but specifically this is Leo energy coming through. So if you're cross watching or, you know, someone that has Leo in their chart or you have Leo primarily in 
in your chart, I will be watching this. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. We'll uh, lastly look at Leo singles. And then please be thinking or meditating on a yes or no question. And we will be answering that at the end. And the timestamps are going to be available in the description box below. Okay. For those of you on the replay. All right. So starting with Leo. Okay. At 530. Okay, starting with Leo's energy at 5.30. Tell us about Leo, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. I don't know why I tend to do that. Sorry about that. Tell me about Leo, please. Huh. Seasons of the Witch, Honoring Cycles. We got this in a uh, reading for, I believe this was um, Aries, Cancer and Aries reading. This was a gorgeous reading. Um, I will, will say honoring cycles. There is an energy of someone um, that you're honoring. This could be, um, you know, an energy of you may be celebrating a birthday um, there's an energy of someone, some sort of a um, anniversary that is coming up. There's an energy of honoring something that you've been through, okay? And we have let loose flying ointment. So you may be going on a vacation, okay? Some of you may be celebrating um, something with your person. You may be getting ready to travel. Hmm, I hope this is a fun reading. We haven't had a good lighthearted reading in a while, you guys, but let's see what's happening with Leo's in love, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and just tell me, Leo, please. What is going on with Leo's energy? Holy Spirit, angels, and guys, tell me about Leo. So we have electronic. And we have winter time. And we have new career. So some of you may be getting a new job. There's an energy of some of you may be getting a new job. Um, this is going to be an upgrade. You may be working in IT, something with computers or appliances or working with electronics overall. Um, Again, this is a promotion, so you're going to be making a lot of money. This is going to happen sometime this winter, so coming up really soon. Okay, under the deck, you have peace, witchcraft, and deception under the deck. This talks about a cycle that is ending or you're closing out a cycle. Um, this also... So we'll talk about someone losing a relationship or a lot of things that are happening that are just like, you know, all at once. You may start having bad dreams. There's an energy of deception. Someone is acting sneaky, someone that you can't trust. So someone may be putting some negative vibes your direction. OK, there may be somebody that's, you know, really doing some sort of witchcraft or something. Um, sending some sort of negative, evil uh, magic your way. Um, this person wants to disturb your peace. They see you being at peace. They see you moving on and being happy. This could be somebody that you were with in the past. Okay, somebody that you walked away from, you ended a cycle with this person. There's something also going on behind the scenes. I'm seeing shadow work. There's things that's being done behind the scenes that you aren't aware of here. So tell me more about Leo. What's happening with Leo? Tell me about Leo's energy, please. Holy Spirit, angel, and guides. So we have the two of wands, the six of swords, the eight of swords, and the ace of wands. Underneath the deck, we have the king of swords the page of cups
Okay, this does talk about someone who is leaving or someone who's making plans to, to leave. Now, with that Eight of Swords and the Ace of Wands, there's an energy of not seeing this coming, like this is something that's happening at the last minute. Um, this is going to be someone who's going to, you know, come in with an idea somewhere, There's someone who wants to go on a trip or some sort of an adventure. Like I'm saying, I feel the energy of you going somewhere. Um, King of Swords, Page of Cups. Somebody is going to be sorry for something that they said or um, somebody coming in and, you know, asking for an apology or saying that they feel as though they are owed an apology for something. Okay. I feel as though things that are made, these plans need to be abandoned because something else is going to come up. Okay. And I feel like your person or you are not going to see this coming, but something else. Let's clarify this. I'm feeling like maybe you were planning on going somewhere with your person, okay? Um, um, but there was something else that came up for you. And I feel like you said yes, even though you had plans to do something with someone else. Or this could be, you know, your energy, like you were excited about going somewhere and you were making plans and then all of a sudden it's like your person is doing something with someone else but there's an energy of you not seeing this okay tell me about the two of wands this card is i can't see what this is knight of swords in the reverse this is unpredictable. This is something that's going to cause a huge argument. I feel like you were planning on a trip and like all of a sudden this person decided or said, you know, up and said that they don't want to go. Justice card here underneath the deck. I feel like there is a friend or a reason why this person made plans with another friend or something else came up and this person Tell me about the Six of Swords. This is someone who's leaving Nine of Cups. It's like they're moving towards, it's like this person is moving towards someone else. It's like, almost like, because this talks about wish fulfillment, something that makes you happy. And this person is moving away from something quickly and going towards something else. Page of Cups under the deck. I feel like this person has it in their head that they'll be happier elsewhere. Page of Cups, Nine of Cups. I mean, that's Ten Cups there. I feel like this person is moving towards something that's going to make them happy. This person may have money. This also an energy of um, um, someone that they feel like has more um, financial stability. Okay. All these cards just came out. I'm not taking all of this. I'm not taking all of that. Tell me about this Eight of Swords, please. And you have the death card. The death card was one of the cards that came out, you guys.
it's like it's like an energy of letting this person out of this situation they feel like they're stuck in there's something else this person wants to do and the hermit was another card that fell out you guys not, not even joking Ugh. There is an energy of there is something else this person wants to do. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What are they saying yes to? What is this person saying yes to? Seven of Wands. Yeah, there this person seven and the ace of wands, that's eight wands. And this talks about someone who's traveling. I feel like there's an energy of this person who is deciding to travel. There is an energy of this person is remembering about this birthday. There's an energy of a birthday or an anniversary or something is coming up. And I feel like this person is going to, um, they made other plans. I feel like with a friend, but I don't feel like, I feel like once they realize what they did, they're going to get out of this. There's an energy of, you know, realizing what they did. Six of swords is an energy of someone who is learning a lesson or they're fixing some sort of a mistake. Okay, death card and the hermit and the eight of swords. It's almost like, you know, it's like realizing that you are already in a commitment. You know what I'm saying? And you need this person to, you know, take a rain check to understand. You know what I'm saying? With that seven of wands, I feel like you are, you know, being defensive or you're standing your ground on whatever your previous commitment was, you said yes to this person, King of Swords. See, there's the King of Swords and the Page of Cups. I feel like you may have been in your head. I feel like you may have just, there's an energy of you just forgot. This was an honest mistake. And look, the High Priestess just fell out the deck. I feel like this was just an energy of you just forgot. This was an honest mistake on your part the lovers high priestess with the lovers i feel like you just forgot why is witchcraft coming through holy spirit angels and down why is witchcraft that one in the reverse we have the five of wands in the reverse. So that's that's actually positive. This is an energy of um, finding peace. There's going to be some sort of energy of someone sending something your way or like bad luck or something coming. And But I feel like it's going to be reversed. Things are going to fix themselves. This talks about things getting better. You may be disappointed at first. With that King of Pentacles here, I do feel like this person is going to end up doing, you know, the right thing at the end of the day. I feel like they're going to realize what they did. You know what I'm saying? So they're wanting to apologize. Three of swords underneath the deck with the wheel of fortune. They're coming to turn, turn things around. They know that you're angry. There's an energy of someone's upset or someone feels as though, you know, you were betraying. Them. So I feel like there is going to be a, uh, some sort of an argument or a disagreement about this, but your person is going to come in and try to make things up to you. Okay. 
So let's see what's happening on your person's side. Leo, at 2025. Leo and your person. Let's see, let's get a different Oracle deck here. Tell me about Leo person. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Leo's person, please. For cancers dealing with the Leo, tell me about your person. It says the only thing that is focused back to love. So someone's focus has been on on other things could be friends could be outside energies work something else school whatever it is that's not as important on and what is real and that is this connection this person that is waiting for you on the energy of you needing Under the deck, do something for someone. Give your attention to other. So you're needing to pay attention to your person. Okay, Leo is person. You need to pay attention to Leo. Because Leo is, you know, feeling some type of way right now. Like you almost forgot the anniversary or this person's birthday. There's some sort of cycle, something that, you know what I'm saying? is coming around again for this person and you were supposed to do something special i feel so let's see tell me more about leo's person okay attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully release your ex uh-oh Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So, so there is someone. Who, I feel like there's something that's got this person's focus shifted. Honoring cycles. Like if you've ended things with one person, there's an energy of letting loose letting go of the old and shifting your energy towards this new person or the person that you are committed to. Leo, there may be an energy of, you know, this person traveling back and forth. There's an energy of this person who needs to let, let go or huh, let loose. We have the queen of wands, the empress, the hermit, and the seven of cups under the deck. I'm telling you right now with the emperor, look at this. You have two people who are in a committed soul tie connection and a queen of wands who's looking at this empress energy, like very upset here. Now, I don't know where you fall into the picture here, Leo. You know what I'm saying? But we have this hermit standing here as well on, you know, looking and taking a close look at the situation too. And it's like, you know, there's something not too great about this situation. And that emperor is sitting down here acting all confused with that seven of cups, like they don't know what's going on. Okay. And they're all confused, forgetting about like anniversaries and, and birthdays it's energy that you're in leo what is happening here why, why is my person acting like this five of swords here under the deck there's an energy of something some sort of conflict going on and with this tell me about this third party energy here Tell me about this third party of the world. Yeah, this was supposed to have ended. This was supposed to be a situation that had closed. This cycle was supposed to have ended. Okay, with the emperor, I'm telling you under the deck, here it is again. I'm telling you right now, the emperor 
was su supposed to have closed the cycle with this queen of wands. There's an energy of ending things. And I do feel like there was an ending there. I do. But I also feel like this emperor is too close to this queen of wands. Tell me about the Empress here. What is going on with this Empress? And we have the Six of Cups. Under the deck, the Eight of Wands. There's going to be a lot of communication coming towards you. This person is coming back towards you. This person is, you know, realizing that they messed up and they're coming in with the communication, the Two of Cups here. This person is coming in to let you know how much they love you, how much they're sorry. Tell me about the hermit. I told you that King of Swords is coming in with an apology and the Four of Wands. This person is coming in with commitment towards you. They realize that, you know, you are their priority. Okay. You are their priority. They're sorry. They know that they should have been on this side and I don't know what they were doing over there with the queen of wands under the deck I'm telling you there's an energy of this this queen of wands was like on the outside looking in and I feel like there's an energy of wanting things to go wrong okay this queen of wands was waiting on this situation to blow up here see the ten of cups here I feel like there is a love between you and this this person. Um, tell me about the Seven of Cups and the Emperor. I feel like the Emperor just wasn't sure what they wanted. Three of Cups. See, I feel like they felt like they could keep this person as a friend. But this was a pure conflict here. Pure conflict of interest. Eight of Cups here. Not something that was a very wise decision. And I feel like it became overwhelming. See, there's the Five of Swords again. See, five of swords again here. Three of cups, eight of cups, five of swords, five of swords. And this person decided, I don't want nothing to do with it. They they started pulling back like, you know what? It's upsetting my person. Now I'm forgetting about my person. Tell me about the five of swords. Tell me about the five of swords. They don't want any trouble. Page of pentacles and the sun. This person wants to be recognized or seen as being honest okay doing what's right telling the truth they don't want to be known as a liar okay with the chariot and the judgment card they don't want you to look at them as a liar seven of swords here in the background they don't want that life seven of swords the knight of pentacles they want you to be able to count on them okay with that queen of pentacles they want you to care about them they don't want to lose your love Okay, so that is your energy. Okay, now we are going to move on to Leo Saints at 28 to 28. And I'm pulling up all of this stale energy so it doesn't get mixed in here. Okay. All right. I'm using the same decks. But different oracle. Using the same tarot decks, but different oracle decks this time. So we are looking at Leo singles, okay? Leo singles. Okay. Tell us about Leo singles, please. Spirit angels and guides, tell us about Leo singles, please. 
spirit angels and guides. tell us about leo singles please huh. gossip short term wallflower under the deck union and long distance and control So there's an energy of someone that you, um, you you had a very short union or a very short relationship with this person. I feel like, you know, you kind of sat back and watched things kind of crumble. Um, I feel like there's an energy of, you know, people were talking about this or there was something that, you know, I feel like, you know, it was like a lot of gossip. So apparently this person was someone that, you know, maybe was a bit of a big shot or someone that had a lot of friends, or there's an energy of people that were watching on the outside, watching things happen. Um, I do feel like this person um, is, you know, you're separated from this person now. And this also talks about you. you gaining control or taking your power back. Okay. I feel like you have been very quiet or withholding um, things um, or withholding your, your power or your energy, but I feel like there's an energy of you releasing or letting loose. Tell me about Leo singles. Tell me about Leo singles. I feel like some of you, okay. Springtime, yes, and abuse. So some of you have been through a very difficult relationship. I feel like some of you may even be going through a little post-traumatic stress. Right now, you may have um, issues with your image. This person may have put you down in a way um, to where you just have lost confidence in yourself. Um, I do feel like there is something coming around, though, in the springtime, okay, that is going to happen for you. I do. Something is going to happen in the spring. It's going to be a good thing for you, okay? Oh, under the deck, we have a firm, and then we have assets here, and unblock. Yeah, you're going to be releasing some negative things. I feel like you may be getting counseling. There's something that you're going to do that's going to be what you need to do. It's going to be the right decision. I feel like um, things are going to um, blossom for you in the spring. You may um, get some money. You may win some money. You may win the lottery. There's an energy of having more. OK, with unblock here, things are going to go smoothly. There may be an energy of someone went to jail. OK, I feel like and there could be an energy of somebody who went to jail. I'm telling you right now um, with control here. OK, and then we have withholding. Somebody went to jail. And I feel like they're getting released. Somebody is being released. This could also talk about someone getting out of a marriage. You could be getting an annulment. This could be somebody getting out of a marriage early. Tell me about Leo singles, please. So we have the seven of cups, the nine of swords, and the 10 of cups. Something happened. Um, someone may have been abused. Someone may, been in a, may have been in a relationship with someone and they had to like get out of it very quickly. Um, there's an energy of getting an annulment. You have the king of pentacles under the deck with the eight of swords. Listen, I'm telling you. 
there's an energy of having to escape or get away from someone or being stuck in a marriage or stuck tied to someone. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, I want to clarify. So, I'm sorry, we have the Nine of Swords here. Um, what? I put down the wrong deck here. Here's the right deck. And the Page of Swords underneath the deck. I'm sorry, guys. Nine of Swords and the Page of Swords under the deck. So this is an energy of someone starting to ask questions. That nine of swords is someone who is feeling like they've been ruined. And I do feel like there's a bit of financial strain or a situation where someone may have had, um, there may have been some sort of a financial strain that you have undergone since you've walked away from this person. I do see your assets picking up in the springtime. I feel like in the spring, there's going to be an energy of more assets are going to come through. Um, I'm seeing unblock here, unblock. And I see the 10 of cups and the eight of swords. And this wallflower energy, or you holding back, I feel like with control and you taking your power back, you are going to be taking your power back and getting off of that wall. I feel like there's an energy of, there's something that you need to do um, in order to put yourself out there. Okay. And once you do that, um, blessings are going to come through. You're going to see your assets start to pick back up again. And this is going to happen in the spring. This is going to happen in the springtime. So let's clarify here. I'm going to use a different deck here. To relight the incense here. Sorry, guys. Actually, yeah, no, I'm gonna use this blue deck here. Because I want the sh I want to shuffle the cards out of the deck, that gold deck. It's a little difficult to handle. Well, you know what? Something is telling me to go ahead and use this deck here. Let me clear the energy here off of it. From the last reading. Okay. Let's use this deck. Seven of Cups here. Okay. That was. Okay. We're not using this deck. Mm -mm. We're not going to use that deck. I'm going to go with my first mind, which is to use a different deck altogether. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Cups, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about the Seven of Cups. Two of Pentacles. There's an energy of someone not knowing what to do or someone who's going back and forth and trying to make a decision between two things on what to decide king of cups this is an energy of you know separating distancing yourself and i feel like it's it, it wasn't an easy decision because of this king of pentacles here i feel like because of the hold that this person may have had or the assets that you may have shared with this person. Okay. Um, I feel like it may have been difficult to separate. 
Okay, so I feel like there was an, an energy of needing to make sure you were okay financially. Tell me about this King of Pentacles, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the Four of Swords. So there's an energy of, you know, needing to make the right move, needing to, you know, really think about things for a bit. There's an energy of you know, getting to a quiet place so you can really think about things, think things through, through what is your next move going to be, not really saying a whole lot. And you have the page of pentacles under the deck with the ace of wands. I feel like you recognize um, that you need to make this decision quickly. Okay. There's an energy of knowing that something needs to happen soon. Okay, springtime is right around the corner. We have the eight of wands. There's an energy of moving very fast or needing to speed, pick up the speed. Tell me about the nine of swords and the knight of cups. and the devil. So I feel like this person, there's an energy of flirting with the devil or not flirting with the devil. I feel like um, you're feeling anxious. Um, you could be dealing with the Capricorn here, but I feel like there's an energy of being anxious of running out of time. Okay. Feeling anxious of running out of time. You have the 10 of wands here. You're dealing with an energy of someone who was very controlling. You have the moon in the reverse. To clarify this page of swords here. Asking questions and I feel like you are going to get answers. That page of swords refers to someone who's asking questions or, or um, they're concerned about this devil energy here. Five of Swords, like they're concerned about some sort of a confrontation. Okay. This is somebody with a high level of anxiety. This is someone who is definitely concerned. Um, like they can't even sit still. They can't even sit still because they know that this person is in a low vibration here. I feel like you live with this person. Tell me about this 10 of cups, please. This is someone that you live with. And we have the Ace of Cups. You're wanting to start over. There's an energy of wanting to start over. Um with someone new or to move on, okay? That Knight of Pentacles is an energy of someone who is reliable. The Knight of Pentacles is also a very slow moving energy. I'm feeling this blockage. You see this Eight of Swords staring at us here. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Look, Ten of Swords. This person is trying to stop you from moving on. 
This person is does not want to see you go. If there's an energy, you know that this person doesn't want to see you go. You know that this person is going to try to stop you. Unblock here and abuse. There's an energy of you needing to be wise. This is not the first time we have done a reading like this, you guys, in the past couple of days. This has been the deal. Like an energy of someone who is either not wanting to see you go or it's like a warning telling you you need to get out carefully and quickly. So, Leo, we're going to leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. And... Um, Make sure you all stay protected. Um, yes or no questions at 4611. Yes or no questions at 4611. What is the answer to the question for Leo that Leo is asking? Yes or no? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Leo. Is the answer to Leo's question yes or no, please? We got two. And this one says yes or no. Okay, so it could go either way. And then we have a definite yes with the Empress. So you have the lovers and you have the Empress. So I feel like it's up to one person. And, you know, with the Empress here, I feel like your energy is going to be the deciding factor. So this person is either way. It's like whatever you want to do. And I feel like you definitely are a definite yes. So the answer is yes. You're going to get what you want. Okay. You're going to get what you want. So that's beautiful. Um, I hope this message resonates with one more. All of you, I love you guys so much. Take care of each other and yourselves and be blessed. I will be back with another reading coming up soon. Bye.